Cowabunga! Cowabunga! Hold up! Wrong franchise, but same great nostalgia. Let's get right to it. Okay, so we're back for another video and let's get right into this. This is two video game related videos in a row for us. Obviously last week we talked about the, re the possible return of the Transformer games coming soon and we're gonna keep our eye on that. But this week we're talking about G.I. Joe, Wrath of Cobra, and we'll get into the actual details of the game in a bit later in the video. But right now we're gonna jump right into it. And actually what I'm gonna do here, there's a bit of a little cartoon intro with some animation. I'm just gonna skip past this really quickly because I don't wanna get dinged with any kind of copyright with music or anything. So I'm just gonna skip past that and we're gonna jump right into gameplay as I talk about this. So let's get right into it. We start the game off, Wrath of Cobra. Obviously you can pick your difficulty. This is a demo, you have two different options right away but you've got four characters. You've got Duke, Snake Eyes, Scarlet, and Roblox. This is a sky full of snakes. Level three, they give you two levels to try. This game is just full of nostalgia. And that's why I went with that opening you seen earlier because a lot of us out there know what we're getting into right away when we load up this game. And you know what to expect, but I personally, I don't know if I was fully prepared for the level of nostalgia and the detail of this game. At every moment, there's something that's just like hitting you with that nostalgia. Even right now, Duke, he has that classic rifle that he's like, you know, they've known for in the cartoon. And obviously what we have here is basically the first, one of the first video games in recent years that we've seen that relies on the G.I. Joe Real American Hero branding. Now, of course, a few years ago, we got a G.I. Joe basically classified game, which is kind of horrible, but that's a story for another day. But this is nice to see G.I. Joe Real American Hero put back in the forefront of the G.I. Joe brand and put out in 2024. So this is really cool. Obviously, we're facing some classic Cobra Troopers here right now and, you know, kicking some butt, going through, getting power-ups, getting stuff here to do. It is nostalgia in your face. And anyone who is around my age, you know, you're in your 40s, this is gonna be for you because for, for A, basically it is just a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game clone. It's a classic beat em up style that was made famous back in the 80s slash 90s. Then B, obviously no brainer, it is skinned with G.I. Joe, a real American hero. So now right away, we're seeing a lot of blue troopers here, blue Cobra troopers that I'm beating up. Oh, just called it a power up. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, super weapon. But the thing about this game, you've got the Blackbird the drone right there in the forefront. There's, there's just so much stuff, like for any moment, there's stuff going on in the background. Every so often, there's new troopers included. Uh, there's like Crimson Guards, there's like Desert Troopers. There's a bunch of stuff happening. For the most part, they really nailed this game. I mean, the thing is, you gotta know what you're expecting going in. And I think, like I said, most of us know what we're expecting. We're expecting that beat em up clone. The thing is, related to the gameplay, it's solid, but I am concerned that I don't know how much longevity this game will have. Um, it is obviously has that classic feel, and I think it will strum with those nostalgia heartstrings that you have. But I don't know, like this is more of like a, I think you'd be, you'd play this once, uh, maybe twice, and then you kind of shove it away. Look at the his tank rolling in here. And this is the thing about this game that I do like. Every boss, every sub boss is a different character that hits a different string. And you'll see it as you go through the game because right now there's only the two demo levels that are available in, in, this, in this playthrough here that I'm doing. Even that had like so many different cameos. There were so many different like things that you're like, oh man, that's so cool to see in actual video game form. So in that way, super cool. Uh, Eventually, I think eventually, I take care of the assist tank. Like, uh, Duke's here punching the assist tank and taking it out. I mean, that wouldn't happen in, you know, quote unquote reality. He's getting hit in the face with these laser cannons, but it works. And it's got the classic, you know, your, your bad guys are turning red and flashing when they get destroyed or close to blowing up. Well, that's a cool effect they got there when that his tank blows up, man. That's really cool. Of course, you got to collect these little discs, these floppy discs, and you get points. So the game is pretty sweet. It's just, I don't know about the longevity of it right now, because as you see, we go through, it has a kind of a one note type thing. 
So some of those details that I said I would get to earlier on in the video is basically this game came out on September 26th. And I'm gonna tell you something a little interesting about this is that I recorded this footage in early April 2024. The demo has been out sometime in April. Like I recorded this footage and I kind of made a mistake where I kind of slept on this and oh, Crimson Guards. Crimson Guards are on the screen. They're my favorite character and I just knocked them out. Back to the story. So I recorded this footage in early April and I put this on the back burner because I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'll get to this and other stories came up and it just never got done. Next thing, like I think the demo might've disappeared from Steam for a while because nobody was talking about this. But anyways, of course, in during uh, Hasbro's PulseCon in early September, they kind of pulled a fast one where they showed the gang, I think Lenny and Dan, um, they were they were playing the demo and showing off the game uh, basically um, just out of nowhere and next thing you know it had a release date so it's kind of weird anyways I'm not sure if it got delayed or and, and it was just delayed and then they just released it I'm not really sure but I mean it's great that it's out and it can be enjoyed the price tag is a roughly $24 American uh, it's supposed to be $32 Canadian um, and then right now I think it's on sale for 10% off so you get a little small little discount there it's on PC it's coming to other platforms later but I mean right now it is classic G.I. Joe and if you got a need for some classic G.I. Joe you should definitely check it out I think what I might do here though is I might put the speed to double time just so we can kind of burn through this a little quicker to show off the game a bit more so if you're paying attention if it gets a bit faster that's because I'll, I've upped the speed of the video um, so I can go through it and show off the game it's not like the actual game plays at that speed and I might put it like a notification on the screen saying that that's happening basically so you got $24 American uh, it's available on Steam and you know what I think that is a very like good price for this game I was worried before the game came out how much they would actually charge for this game and I was worried that if they put the price too high I don't think it would be uh, well received like I would like it's $32 Canadian which is 10% off it comes like $29 $29 beat em up game I think is pretty cool but I was worried that it was going to be like 39 or something like that just because all the video game prices seem to be going up but that's not the case with this game so it's very solidly priced and I think what you're getting is worth that much you know because as a G.I. Joe collector as a fan I think the nostalgia is probably worth that much to have this in your collection it is definitely cool obviously you can see I'm still beating up Cobra Troopers um, we're still on the first uh, demo level here, which is level three. So I might speed ahead here. So as we're going through here, this is the first uh, level three boss. We have Baroness, you know, classic characters introduced during this game. And like I mentioned earlier, there's ton of cameos. So Baroness is the boss here. Basically, you got to go around, obviously. It's classic Ninja Turtles arcade where you're just like beating on the boss, trying to survive, trying to not have to put your quote unquote quarters back in the game. So that's the only thing about these beat em up games when they're not in the arcade. The danger of not finishing the game, it doesn't necessarily have that same feeling anymore because obviously when you're playing in the arcade, say Ninja Turtles back in the day, there's many different games, Final Fight, there's a ton of the games, Dungeons and Dragons, there's a Gauntlet even, um, there's different games out there, but your level, your energy was based uh, you only got more energy if you put more quarters in the game. Obviously, it would cost you financially to continue playing the game. This is not the case with these games anymore. So the danger to the games is a loss a little bit. You can basically, for the most part, have infinite lives. Um, and you can go through and continue. Now, this wasn't too bad. I quickly figured out the pattern here. And I was able to defeat the Baroness. So eventually I land the killer hit here and I basically finish her off and the level finishes. She blows up apparently. I'm not really sure why the Baroness blows up, but she does blow up. Uh, boom, she's gone. Level complete. On to the next demo level. So it took me roughly 11 minutes to finish that demo level, level three. And it gives you a score because games like this often have leaderboards and it's, it's all about the score you can get the more things you can collect anyways so let's load the next level while i finish this off obviously this is a four player game you get four different characters you can be 
I wanted to try out some of the other characters, so second run through here. The second run through here, I wanted to play so many different, so I picked Scarlet because I just wanted to see how they played. Uh, she's got a lot of kicks, a lot of cool moves. So obviously, you can pick the difficulty. I think I have it on hard here, I'm not really sure. Anyways, um, but I'm still kicking butt at Scarlet because Scarlet's pretty badass. And this is a mountain of snakes, I believe. And obviously, you're doing some kind of assault on a base here and Cobra Mountain or Destro's base. Um, anyway, so it's pretty cool. The graphics are really, really cool. Like, like I said earlier, everything's so like in tune with the uh, and the cartoon from back in the day. Uh, I kept on getting trapped. I never clued in here that the wires has electricity come through it. So I, every now and then I'll get caught by that. Anyways, so it's a pretty cool game. Now, has anyone else out there played this yet? Have you bought this? Let me know in the comments if you've actually purchased this and what you think of it. So eventually you can see, like I talked before, they bring in the Cobra Snake and there's just a constant flow of new bad guys and new things to see. So you got the classic Cobra Trooper still coming at you in waves. But now they included the classic Cobra Snake, which I have to take out. Of course, he's a bigger enemy, takes a few more hits and he's kicking my butt and I died. Anyways, so this is where the game's at. Eventually, I do kind of kick his butt and he explodes here in a second. So we'll ramp up the game again, kind of run through it. And like I said earlier, lots of different bad guys. I can only assume that there are a million different Cobra Troopers in this game that we're going to see a lot of different uh, figure varieties. I say figures, they're sprites, obviously, but I mean, I'm relating them to the G.I. Joe Real American Hero line. I love the Crimson Guards. So cool. So cool. Anyways, so the game is pretty cool. It's, 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 I'm going to say it's pretty awesome. I just don't know if the longevity, like I was mentioning earlier, like you're only going to play through this game a couple times. Um, when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge came out, I basically had to beg my kids to play with me to play through it. They didn't really enjoy it. So I don't know how much this game type is going to resonate uh, with the younger folk. I think classic... Uh, more nostalgia-based people like myself in my age range will enjoy this game for at least one or two, three playthroughs. But younger kids, I'm not really sure. It's kind of like a fine line. It's not flashy enough for them. Um, but basically, we're at the end of level six here, which is uh, this castle fight here. And I believe the boss battle coming up is Dr. Mindbender. So eventually Mindbender shows up and he's got this cool, I mean, it's Mindbender, so he, he knows what he's doing. He's got this cool clone feature where basically there's a bunch of clones of him going around and you have to like basically hit the, the lead character to try to whittle down his energy. It's classic stuff. We've all seen this before in beat em up uh, games. And it's nice to see this skin, uh, this skin version like there's been so long so many times i've loved raw like throughout history that i'd love to see a game skin as gi joe like when i was a kid i i would i would have killed for a command and conquer type game skinned in gi joe like it was like a no-brainer i didn't understand how stuff like that never was released anyways so i finished this level stage clear the game is good and i think it's gonna be a hit and what do you think of the game? Let me know in the comments below. And have you played the demo yet? Have you purchased the game? Will you continue to play the game? Will you introduce this game to your children and see if they'll enjoy it as well? I'm curious to know what your kids think of this game. Write in the comments, come back, play the game. Let me know in the comments what your kids think of this game. Hungry for more Hasbro related gaming news? Check out this video to find out if those missing Transformer games might be returning. Also, looking for a new podcast to try? Don't forget to check out our Everything Transformers, Everything G.I. Joe podcast where we talk everything G.I. Joe and Transformers.